Let's take a look at how simple it is to install and register a host to cloud.redhat.com. You may be interested in doing this if you're planning to use Red Hat Insights or Cloud Management Services for Red Hat Enterprise Linux, which is included with your Smart Management subscription. Either of these options use the Red Hat Insights client, and you only have to complete these actions once, even if you are using both Red Hat Insights and Cloud Management Services for Red Hat Enterprise Linux. The steps are very simple. Register your host, either using Subscription Manager or Satellite. Install the Red Hat Insights client. Note that if you're using Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8, this is already done for you, and you can skip this step. Then register the hosts using the Insights client. In this scenario, we'll focus on the use case of if you have a brand new host that has never been connected to Red Hat before. We'll start by connecting to the system and running the command subscription manager status. This tells me that the system is in an unknown status, or in other words, it's not registered. To register, use a subscription manager register command. In my environment, I'm already set up with activation keys. You can set up activation keys using subscription manager on access.redhat.com. This requires an activation key as well as an organization number. This prevents you from having to type in any username or passwords. If you don't have activation keys set up, this is still really simple. When you type in subscription manager register, it will prompt you for a username and password. We're now subscribed, so the next step is to install the Red Hat Insights client. This is going to install version 3.03 .03 of the Insights client, as well as any other necessary dependencies. So I'll accept. We'll also need to accept the GPG key and the installation is complete. The last step is to register the Insights client using the command insights-client-register. That's all there is to it. You've connected your system, installed the Insights client, and registered with Insights. As part of this process, it also uploaded your first report. So if we go to cloud.redhat.com and select either Red Hat Insights or Cloud Management Services for Red Hat Enterprise Linux, select our inventory, we should be able to search for the system that we just added. And there's our host, rel7-00. And now we can begin looking at all of the issues that have been detected on this host using Insights or Cloud Management Services for Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So Red Hat Insights registration is obviously simple and easy, but are there any more advanced options? For example, what if I'm using a cloud provider and I need to leverage basic authentication? What other kind of options do I have with the Insights client installation? A few minor changes to the Insights client configuration file will allow you to register with basic authentication. If you look at the insightsclient.com file located under Etsy, Insights client, insightsclient.conf, make this a little smaller to fit my screen. Near the top, you would uncomment autoconfig and change that to false, uncomment off method and leave that at basic and uncomment both username and password and enter your Red Hat account username and password. Also note that this enables you to do things like use a proxy, or obfuscate your IP addresses and host names. This video has been a quick look at how to install and register the Insights client, as well as how to use the Insights client configuration file to make some more advanced changes.